Should be a way to Corral's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. I think he's still processing. Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. Yep, so definitely gets it from the mother's side. That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? So much for your girlfriend meeting us! It did seem unlikely. All I know is I'm really starting to hate this elevator. Look out! It is acceptable to ask for help, Peter Quill! that Peter Quill was the child's mother. We really have to talk about this now. Make your maker. Another squad of Nova Corps soldier dealt with. Aggression is often the best protection. Get Guys, huddle up! Killing it out there, Quill. You see the look on their faces when they see you rays ring down from on high? <laughs> or the ones they make when they realize Groot's got him tied oh, up in a boat. I know. Bone. Never thought I'd say this, but fighting with you guys is fun. <laughs> okay. Yes. I get that it's all bubbly and sparkly out there. We're blasting shots at them, and it's so much fun. But. We lose our focus. If we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! This is gonna be fun! Oh, yeah! He was gone long before I got to him! Must have missed the defense against Gamora class! Anyone else nervous about what we're gonna find throughout the office? No? Hey, Quill! You wanna see some fireworks? Everyone okay? Anyone hurt? What? Are you gonna start being all paternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just... We'll find them. Office was up top somewhere. Next stop, Corel's office. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's got to be eating at you. None of this changes who I am. I'm still cool as a cucumber. Are you? Groot says all the cucumbers he's ever met were terrified on the inside. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there were- Hello? Corral? Nikki? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. There are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. 
The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Any luck getting in? Thing's pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Nikki! Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> appealing. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corell have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Kree purity laws. That's not a real thing, is it? The Kree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. So, when Corell said we shouldn't be doing this... It was being literal. Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Kree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Are you seriously focused on food right now? Mystery makes me hungry. Hey! Save me some, will ya? Don't worry, Corral. I'll make sure this gets back to you. Some kind of dye machine. Is it normal for Kree to dye their hair? Not unless they're hiding something. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree purity laws. From a legal perspective, copulating with you is extremely objectionable. From other perspectives, too. Uh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Cree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity is encrypted. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki would be hanging from a wall. Okay, I'm in! But I got bad news, lover boy! What did you find? Come here and I'll show you! So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes, but we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so... Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop. Move. <laughs>
Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. So, how do we get across? Peter's the one with the visor. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying. I have never understood how so much information could be stored in such a magical way. What, you mean servers? All of it. Servers, computers, technology. So you basically don't understand anything I do? Precisely. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh. Shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on! <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. Man, what I would give to get into some of these servers. I thought that was the plan. The plan is to get to the bridge and hope that maybe someone left the Nexus unlocked. Wouldn't get my hopes up. You must tell the dog about the priest. Robot priest. Groot says the mutt's not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying. Okay, 
So according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the road No! Come on! <sighs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. Report item. We have encountered a formidable new enemy, but still no sign of the ghosts. He didn't mean literal ghosts. Ghosts in the system. Remnants of data. Uh, let it go. Just let him think there are ghosts. Give to get into some of these servers. I thought that was the plan. Plan is to get to the bridge and hope that maybe someone left the Nexus unlocked. Wouldn't get my hopes up. Perfect. So we just gotta jump across a few of these floaty server things? Seems, uh, perfectly safe. They contain near infinite stores of data. Pretty sure they can temporarily support our puny mortal frames. Well, mine anyway. Are you cool? And yours too, yes. So, is this another one of Peter's leaders don't go first situations? Really seems like he should be going first. It's weird, right? How the world mines seem to have gone completely dark? To think, all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panicked scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks! Hey Groot, any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. He probably thinks the next is booby-trapped. Ah, uh, that would explain it. Well, of course it had to be locked. Rocket, think you could- Back a Nexus terminal? Not a chance. We're talking top-notch security. And I guess we're looking for a four-digit passcode. <sighs> All right, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. Try 1111. Why 1111? Why not 1111? I don't know, you tell me. Because it is a good number, simple and easy to remember. I found a key card. Is that useful? Can't access the Nexus with no standard issue key card. Just some personal logs. I mean, there's a. I wonder what 1969 refers to. Perhaps Corel was counting the number of times she had contemplated the sweet release of death. And then wrote it down and made it her password. I mean, all my passwords are death related. What about you? Nope. Maybe. Or not. Hey, Quill, you gotta see this. What about it? It's a cup. <laughs> nice. That's quite the mustache. Find something? You think Corel would have used her badge number as a passcode? Worth a shot. Yes! 
Yes! Guys, we're in! Go to the criminal records, Quill. They can't be that scary if they share a record. <laughs> I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like the Loser Legion. What is it with you Humies and your stupid names? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Star-Lord is not in the same league as Darkhawk, okay? So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great, because his mother's dead. I thought there'd be more here. You know, for a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Do you know this Terran, Peter Quill? Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. Wow. When Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Wow. Your record's a lot bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule. Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy. Fun fact, that bounty on you put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I am unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. All right, let's take a look. I was wondering how they knew about us. Quill must have tripped the sensors on the way out. Wow, super riveting, Quill. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. Hey, isn't that... The mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone, yeah. When's the footage from? Signal stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral. Found something. Hey, what are you- Watch out! after we left. Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. I am Groot. No, you're a Lotus Scut. That thing's got nothing to do with us. <sighs> that gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. It's a list of bucket heads. Uh, we already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. Check it out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. Misread our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices <laughs> must. Be 
I had to check. Groot, write the stars. <sighs> Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Cathian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on. Although, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? Can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. Alright. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. I'm not gonna... Walk with me! Come on, Quill, just grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. So, the Matriarch asked for us by name? You, specifically. Although I cannot fathom why. Peter is constantly surprising us, too. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe them. They have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Well? He wants to know if you know you're the bad guy. Reductive concepts like good and bad led us into the Galactic War. Actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise will raise the dead? Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the matriarch, the divine vessel. I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him. Okay, that, uh, that is a cool trick. Want to explain how you did it? Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. 
But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sancrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. What now? What? What is it? It's just, um... You, uh, you, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh, control energy? Faith energy? Right. Uh, well, it just seems like all this, uh... I, I think what Gamora's point is, is, um, you say you have all of this energy. Faith energy. Right, but when we first saw you... Weren't you stranded on Hallow's Hope because your shuttle ran out of juice? Yes, I was, but... So why don't you just believe that your ship had more gas? It doesn't work that way. Faith energy is a byproduct of belief. Focused belief. <laughs> okay, sure. I saw this proven. Focused belief in him is what enabled us to survive. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no. No, <laughs> no. No. Nope. It seems like the kind of thing that we would be aware of. Indeed. Please, continue your fascinating account of, you know... <laughs> what did you mean when you said, them, just now? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And could you maybe talk some more about it? I was talking about him. The healer who could not reverse the death of my son! You! Get off that now! Back with the others! What? I was just admiring- Silence! It's time to meet the Matrix. Summon the Milano. Ow. If you kept Grand Unicorn talking, I could answer that. Now we gotta look for a comm relay station. Ridiculous. The ship is exceptionally spacious. Yeah, well, maybe we can ask Quill's girlfriend for directions after she's warped our brains. Come on. What? I'm just saying what we're all thinking. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, we may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody! The just... girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. What 
do you mean? Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting for us to bring them back. All we need is faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens until I show them. You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Did I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me, and your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll... Let go of me. Stop. I can't believe I... Seriously, Mom. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. It's okay. It's me. Peter, what are you doing? I don't understand. I love you, Peter. Of course. This isn't right. Please. Get up! 
don't have much time. We need to get everything ready. Mom will be home soon. Come on, get up. Nikki, what? <laughs> 